Hello and welcome to darkroom.film. This is what we do. Search the world for highly rated shows and movies that you have probably never heard of, but are well worth your attention and bring them to our platform where you can enjoy those gems absolutely free. Link in description. If you like horror movies, we got one for you. South Korean comedy horror The Hand. And it is about The Hand. Not that hand that kids shake hand with, tripping, and it acts like pure evil. The other hand, one that sticks out from the shitter and acts like pure evil. That was a pretty shabby description, I have to admit. On the other hand, if it is good enough for this lady speechwriter... When we talk about the children of the community, they are the children of the community. We might as well keep it. Jokes aside, I am personally not a big fan of horror comedy combination, mainly because it is very hard to maintain the balance between mentioned genres without upsetting the rhythm of the story. This title was at first introduced to us as a horror, which made it a pretty confusing experience during the first company screening, expecting it to be one. In the end of the day, it turned out to be a time well spent, leaving a great aftertaste, and we ended up bringing a movie from the Korean market to American viewers. Genre was the element requiring clarification. Even though this film had a strong horror element, plot delivery and solid grip to keep you invested, it doesn't take itself too seriously, allowing comical element combined with realistic humane reaction of characters placed in absurd and confusing circumstances unobtrusively seep through the canvas of the narration, making it a horror comedy. The story starts with a guy by the name Bong Su, who walked home at night blacked out drunk. We all have friends like that. Woke up in the morning with a deadly hangover, not remembering a thing. Wanted to use the bathroom and found a wicked hand sticking out from the toilet. Lad doesn't believe his eyes, which is an expected reaction to such an encounter considering his limited brain processing power due to the night out drinking. Calls wife for help with this uneasy cause. Lady doesn't show much enthusiasm committing to an invitation that sounds like honey come see this weird thing in a toilet. Hey. Hey, Sharon. Sharon, you gotta come see this. Eventually, somehow she gets convinced, shows up to check on what is going on, and sees a demon-looking hand sticking out from the toilet. Woman holds herself together for a little while, but then hand moves, which is more impact than she can tolerate and yeah. withdraws into the comforting state of being passed out. Seconds after our hero called 911, he hears a ring on the doorbell. Uniformed man claims to be here for a 911 call. After seeing an unconscious girl on the floor and dead hand in the toilet, the guard jumps to the conclusion that it is all mischief of a hungover guy, goes into panic mode and arms himself with a plunger, while Bong Su tries to place the strange situation in a proper perspective by explaining the order in which events appeared. After a few minutes into this mess, they hear the doorbell ringing again. <laughs> Bong Su opens the door to meet three first responders, also summoned by 911 call. While he welcomes helpers in, a uniformed guy in the bathroom showed effort to learn more about the hand in the toilet and, with the price of his own life proved, saying, curiosity killed the cat. When first responders enter the scene, there is an unconscious girl, breathless uniformed guy and satanic hand in the shitter. Without spoiling the rest of the story so you can enjoy watching it yourself free at darkroom.film, I'll only mention that soon enough they got trapped inside the bathroom because the door wouldn't open, phones will be useless due to lack of coverage and the hand will be up to some evil shenanigans, making whole situation even more unbearable and grotesque. That is it for now. Good luck, have fun, and see you later. Ciao.